Hello, this is Manash Patel from IchimukuTrade.com. Today is January 14th, 2013. This is our weekly Ichimoku uh, analysis for the futures market. Uh, it's been a while since we've done our videos, but we're going to be getting ready to start them back up now on a weekly basis. So this is our first one uh, for 2013, and we'll st we start doing these on a regular basis moving forward. Um, Normal procedures, this is our disclaimer to state this is for education use only. We're not soliciting you buy or sell any particular instrument. If you do so, you do that at your own risk. Okay. All the charts today you're gonna see are basically from TradeStation uh for the future side. Here are my contact details. If you have any questions, you can contact us here on an email at info at eiicapital.com or you can contact any of our office locations around the world. Okay. So let's go and start and let's go for the futures. Um, <clears throat> for anyone that hasn't seen my screens before, let me kind of rearrange some of the stuff. Okay, so we rearrange our screen so it looks a lot better. Um, basically what you have on here on the left hand side uh, is the daily time frame on the right hand side is the weekly time frame. And we're pretty much going to go for all the futures one by one. I just kind of scroll down this list. The first one's going to be soybean oil. Uh, if you look here on soybean oil, and you kind of shrink this down a little, you can see that basically it is below the clouds, so the sediment is bearish. But if you look at this, this is kind of consolidating now, so really not doing anything at all. Uh, resistance on this guy is going to be about 53.28. Um, <clears throat> and support, believe it or not, is going to be around 59.68 moving forward. So those are going to be the key support resistance values, and it's kind of bouncing between those two right now for soybean oil. If you look at corn, <clears throat> nice little move in the last couple of days, and you can see here it kind of just bounced off the cloud, just came up. Uh, it's really not doing anything at all. This is basically consolidated in a nice big range, and you really you can see this. Let me shrink it down. And you can see that it's not really doing anything at all on this guy. So resistance on this is going to be about 7.65 and 7.8 uh, support. It's going to be roughly about 700 or so uh, moving forward on corn. But there's nothing really going on in corn right now. Cocoa, this has been a nice little one. Uh, if you kind of shrink this chart down here. We kind of enlarged the weekly time frame. You could see that it was at a nice trend here. Decided to consolidate, go into the cloud. And right now, if you look at this, this is pretty much just consolidating uh, because it's in the cloud right now. So there's nothing really going on as far as uh, cocoa is concerned. Um, <clears throat> on this one, the resistance is going to be about 2454. Uh, support's going to be about 2200 moving forward. <clears throat> crude oil. Let's look at the crude oil. You can see here on the weekly time frame, there's nothing really going on because it's consolidating coming into the cloud. On the daily time frame, you can see this big bullish movement up here, which is pretty much those red bar, these green bars here. It's nice, made a nice little run up here. Uh, however, it's kind of topping out now. It's had a major resistance already at about basically at 94, 94.10. Uh, it has been basically a major resistance on this guy. Support's going to be basically 90.19 moving forward. Uh, but be careful right now in trying to go bullish on crude oil uh, due to this daily time frame. And a lot of people are looking at it. Uh, but this thing definitely needs to pull back. It needs to pull back to at least 90.19 in order to sit there and look for any bullish opportunities at all. Uh, if it holds 90.19, then it'll still be basically bullish moving forward. But if it breaks down, it's going to basically retest the low, which is going to be around way down here uh, and I don't even know what that value is it's about 85 or so moving forward <coughs> cotton if you look at cotton uh, this also is consolidating on the weekly time frame here and you can see from here uh, notice how this had a big nice little trend it's just consolidating 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 um, <coughs> there's a high possibility this is going to believe it or not sooner or later uh, it may not be in the next month or two but sooner or later I think maybe this year I think we're going to retest the highs up here for uh, cotton here so just keep a lookout for it here um, this thing really needs to sit there and break above about 82, 83 uh, in order to even start a bullish trend. So you still got a while. My guess is it'll probably happen towards the end, the middle of this year, uh, but nothing right now uh, since it's just really consolidating. Daily here it looks like it's bullish, but it's kind of fake bullish right now. Um, 
if it was going to go, it should have gone right around here, uh, but decided to hesitate and come back down. So this thing's just consolidating and torturing people. <coughs> Excuse me. If you look at the U.S. dollar index, let's just enlarge the weekly time frame uh, and look at this. Uh, it looks like it's just sitting there consolidating right now. It is below the cloud. It does have a potential of breaking down lower. So just keep an eye on this guy here. Uh, reason why is this thing could sit there and break for this little support here at 78.84. This thing does have a potential of going down to at least about 76. So keep an eye on dollar breaking down. Uh, but it's got to sit there and break the support here. Uh, if it by chance reverses and starts breaking the resistance of 81.73, uh, then this is going to keep on consolidating until at least could break about 84. Uh, and if it breaks 84, then it could start a bullish trend. But you're so far away from that. I definitely would look for bearish opportunities uh, for the dollar uh, dollar futures right now moving forward. And you can see here uh, from the daily time frame, a couple of days it's moved down here, uh, and you can see the little consolidation pattern. This thing's kind of undergoing right now. Right there. And a lot of people think this is a triple top, a triple bottom, and this is going to be over, but I don't think so. I think this is going to actually make a move down. It may go back up to about 80, 80 07 before it decides to tank, but it definitely will go down. Uh, we'll come back to the U.S. futures on the U.S. stock market one. Feeder cattle, nothing really going on here. It's bearish, but not really bearish. It's kind of in between two support resistances. Uh, and sorry, between the support and resistance, support on this is going to be 149.6.68. Resistance on this is going to be 151.67 moving forward. Five year treasury bonds. Um, really, if you look here on the weekly time frame, nothing really going on. It's still bullish trending. Uh, as you can see from the upward movement here, however, it's hopping out at the very top, consolidating it, but still has not broken down. So just definitely keep an eye on this one. It definitely would not go bullish nor bearish on this. It's really not doing anything. And if you look here on the daily time frame, just consolidating back and forth between 124,24 and basically 124,116. Heating oil. If you look at heating oil, really not doing anything right now. It is still bullish in nature based on the weekly time frame here. And let's just kind of shrink this down a little so we can see more. And you can see here, you can see the high, the highs are making zoom, basically making lower highs, and the lows are basically making higher lows. So this thing's basically getting tighter and tighter and tighter. It's going to explode one way or another, so just definitely keep an eye on this. But right now, it's still bullish in nature. So if it's going to blow up, it's probably going to be bullish until it, unless you could sit there and break a major support, uh, which is going to be roughly about... Right here, a 2.8852 is going to be the major support, and 3.1000 is going to be basically the resistance moving forward on this one. <clears throat> Coffee, this has been a great, great trade. It's still bearish trending on, on the weekly time frame. The daily is basically gone for a pullback. It's at a major resistance level right now, uh, basically about 150, it hit one about 155, kind of bounce off that resistance level. Uh, the key is now what's going to do. A minor support level is going to be 149.53. If it could sit there and pull back to about 149.53, bounce off there, then it has a potential, believe it or not, to go to about 168.20 in a long-term picture. But it's got to sit there and bounce off. Uh, it's got to hold the 149.53 level uh, completely. <coughs> Lumber. As you can see from daily and weekly, is basically bullish trending. Nothing really talking about here, but this is basically going up and up and up. Not sure if people have noticed that at all, but it definitely is uh, bullish trending. It's gone up drastically uh, for uh, since October, believe it or not, mid-October on. Live cattle, uh, nothing really going on here on both the daily and weekly, so this thing's just getting consolidating, so this is just boring. We're not going to talk about that one. Uh, lean hogs. If you look here at lean hogs, really nothing going on as far as lean hogs is concerned either. This thing's just consolidating completely. Uh, if you look here at the top, it kind of hit its resistance level 87.451. Support's going to be basically 80.263 moving forward on this. <coughs> Natural gas. 
If you look here, it was basically bearish trending here. You saw it consolidate and it's there trying to sit there and retest the lows at three. Uh, basically, support's going to be basically 3.000. Uh, resistance is going to be basically 3.576 moving forward. Uh, be very careful in trying to go bullish completely right now on a long term basis. You could go bullish on day trading, but definitely not on a long term basis unless it could break 3.576. Um, support if it breaks at three definitely will sit there and go retest this low here uh, which is very very highly believe it or not for it to do <clears throat> oats oats is really doing nothing right now you can see this big down movement here resistance on this guy is going to be uh, 365 um, 365 support basically on this guy is going to be pretty much just pivot low here uh, let's just say it's 328 right now moving forward. Uh, I definitely will sit there if you want to go short on this. You can see from the daily time frame so that it does look like a little short. <coughs> I definitely wait for a pullback level to about 365 and then keep your stops very, very tight. And then you can sit there and play a pullback trade to maybe sit there, retest this pivot low and possibly even go a lot lower. So I definitely would look at oats on a long-term basis to be bearish uh, if it could sit there and break through this little area right here after it does a little pullback. OJ has been interesting. It's kind of been moving um, uh, in a daily time frame to pretty much being bearish here. Uh, finally changed from bullish to bearish, and you can see that from this movement here. Uh, as far as the weekly is concerned, this thing's still consolidating. No real movement is concerned right now. So... This thing really needs to sit there and break below this level here, believe it or not, at 102.22. If it could break for that support level, then this could start a bearish trend to possibly retest the lows at 75. Uh, if it sits there and goes back above 127.15, which is a major resistance level, uh, then this thing is going to enter a consolidation pattern until it could sit there and go higher and break through. Platinum, we're kind of going all over the place today, sorry. Uh, we'll definitely get this more organized uh, and just uh, start back at the first one for, so it's kind of a little rusty. Platinum here, as you can see, basically it's in the clouds, so nothing really going on here. It's broken out of the cloud here in the daily time frame bullish, but you're at a major resistance level right now, which is exactly at 116.63, <coughs> moving forward. Support on this is going to be 15.55 on a long-term basis for Platinum. E-mini crude oil, crude oil. Um, I think we just went for the CL product, so we don't need to go for the mini. Yeah, we did. We don't need to go for that. Uh, let's see. What is this? This is natural gas. We've gone for that. Here's gasoline. We have not gone for gasoline here. So if you look at gasoline, our bop, if you can hear, let's just shrink this down here. And you can see we're basically retesting the resistance here at 2.8000. Uh, be very careful. This thing's got to sit there and break this in the next two or three weeks, the 2.800. If it does, then it can sit there and keep on trending higher. If it doesn't, it sits there and breaks its minor support level of 2.6878. Then this is, has the potential of going down to at least 2.4361, which will be a major pullback level uh, for the uh, gasoline. Rice. <coughs> You can see rice here is just being basically swinging wildly here. It is at a major support level right now, so it's kind of do or die for rice right now. Uh, and you can see it's been consolidated for a long time. So I definitely will look at this one, and this could sit there and potentially tank even more if it could break this 15 level, uh, which is its major support level. 15, about 15.953 is basically going to be its resistance level moving forward. <clears throat> soybean uh, you can see this big movement here it's found now finally now doing a major pullback right now it bounced off a major support basically about 1344 uh, resistance is going to be basically there's two of them uh, the minor ones going to be about 1427 and major ones going to be about 1568 uh, but you can see from the daily time frame it's still bearish here as you can see from the little minor bearish trend here that you have here which is that right there getting to the cloud a lot of people kind of think this is the double bottom here and it's going to sit there and start going higher. Uh, but it's like I said, it's got to break those two resistance levels in order for it to sit there and retest this high there. Uh, but it does look like it's possibility can happen very, very soon. So definitely keep an eye on this to see if it breaks those two resistance levels.
sugar as you can see is starting a bearish trend here so it's already in the bearish trend believe it or not on the weekly time frame on the daily it's getting a little choppy now so it's kind of consolidating right now but definitely keep on looking at this one if you look at this if you look here, this is basically going to be its major support, 1848. Uh, resistance on this one is going to be at 2150 moving forward. <coughs> Gold, which a lot of people have been looking at. You can see from the daily time frame, it's been a little bearish here in nature. But then it's still not completely bearish trending. Started a trend here, minor, but still hasn't developed into a major trend at all. And the reason why, basically, if you look at the weekly time frame, you're in the cloud. And the cloud's basically causing it to consolidate. Soybean meal. This is a bullish trend here. This is finally undergoing a pullback here. Really needs to kind of pull back. Um, ideally, you kind of want it to pull back to this level here, which is about 740, sorry, 374, which is this major support. So you kind of need more of a pullback there. Uh, minor resistance levels on this are going to be 425.80 and 463 moving forward. Two year treasury bonds. Two years really doing nothing except consolidating both on the daily and weekly, so nothing really to talk about. Excuse me, 10 year really not doing anything here, basically trended just consolidating for a while, not really doing anything, just like the US stock markets. 30 years really not doing anything either, so it's not even worth discussing. And weekly, if you look here, it's a nice bearish trend here on the weekly time frame which basically has gotten us to a, a bear sentiment filing on the weekly time frame for the uh, for wheat uh, it definitely needs to pull back now ideally if you could sit there and pull back to about 815 and hold that which is a minor resistance level on the major is going to be about 859 uh, but if it gets up there at least pull back to about 815 stop there hold that it's ground there and then make a move down back here and this does have a high, high possibility, believe it or not, of retesting the lows here. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on we moving forward. Okay, that basically is it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Please uh, feed us, give us some feedback on things to improve and so forth. Um, my voice will be better for next week, but I promise you. Just getting over a cold. So if you have any questions or anything, please email us at info at eiicapital.com. Thank you. Ha <laughs>